So today we're taking a look at a computer case. This is the Equilance by Andermax. So in terms of styling, this case features a tinted tempered glass side panel. The front panel is plastic and it has a piano black finish. This case has a top control panel. It has the power button, the reset button, the fan controller, two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and a headphone jack as well as a microphone jack. The top of the case also houses intake or exhaust ports. They're covered by this magnetic piece right here, but can easily be exposed there. The rear of the case is standard ATX. You got a fan mounted right here with the exhaust ports, more exhaust ports here, and the power supply mounts on the bottom of the case. To remove the side panel, there are four thumb screws at each corner of the side panel. Inside the case, you'll see that there is a power supply shroud or a basement. There are mounting areas for five fans, or you can put a radiator there. There is a cutout here in the basement to accommodate a radiator or another fan. Now, one of the big things about the Equilens case is silence. So when we remove the side panel, there is sound editing material where the side panel meets the case. In terms of cable routing, there's no dedicated port for the primary motherboard power. However, towards the top and at the bottom of the motherboard tray, there are cutouts for more cable routing. These cutouts have grommets to hide the cables as you route them through. One thing to note, while there is a cutout for the PCIe power connectors for your graphics card, this cutout, at least on my case, did not have a grommet. So let's take a look at the other side. So to remove the rear side panel, you only have to worry about two screws here and here. The entire rear panel features sound editing material. So as we look here, there are two spots for SSD drives or two and a half inch hard drives. Down here in the basement, there are two trays for three and a half inch hard drives, the power supply, and there's a nice large gap here to route cables or to store extra cables if you don't have a modular power supply. The motherboard tray features a nice large cutout, so it's fairly easy to add an aftermarket cooler later on. If there's one main thing I'd change on this case, it'd be to add some sort of shroud here to cover up the cables. Though there is ample storage for extra cables, cables down here in the basement. In this situation, I've elected to only have one three and a half inch hard drive and I used the bottom half to store more cables as I do not have a modular power supply. So that was just a quick look at the Enermax Equilens case, a case that prioritizes styling and silence. In terms of styling, it's got it. In terms of silence, your mileage may vary. Retail is about $109, but overall, good deal.